Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be showing you how to make this, this, and this. Okay guys, so to begin, I assume you're already familiar with most of the basics of HitFilm. Today we're just going to be going into the text. So, first thing you're going to do is have your clip obviously, and just drag your clip down to the editor. You can't actually do text in the editor, which is a bit of a pain. There are sort of ways around it. We'll have solutions on getting around this problem later in the video. But for now, just make a composite shot by clicking this button and pressing OK. Now, I don't know what workspace you're in, but some workspaces will be easier to work with than others in the compositing. So, we don't really need this editing at the moment, so I'm just going to go view workspace and switch to compositing. If you go into compositing, our text is all the way on the left here. To start adding text, we're going to press the new layer button and we're going to press text. And um, you can set the size of the text box to be whatever you want. I've got a 1080p video here, so I'm going to set mine to be 1920 by 1080 which is obviously 1080p resolution, but you can set your text box to be whatever you want and you can always change this later. So just click OK. And just to show you if you wanted to change it, uh, let me just zoom out a bit here. If we go into our, our text tool, which is how we edit text, then not only can we edit text, but we can also drag this around, which is how you uh, drag the, the size of the text box around. But anyways, um, to start editing, just click into your box until it goes blue on the outside, and just type in whatever you want. Now you can see that I've actually got some pretty gnarly things happening. So I'm just going to actually reverse it. Now that the text is back to normal, we're going to show you what each of these uh, controls in the text panel does. So first of all, um, we've got our character. So here, this is the font. Um, these are all the fonts that will be installed on your computer. I've installed loads of other fonts apart from the default ones, so you can go and choose the font that suits you. However, as I have obviously forgotten to do, make sure you select the text first before you choose the font. Okay, so now that we've selected our font, we can select our size. This is what this parameter is, and I'm just going to set it to say 100, and maybe 200. I reckon 200 is pretty good, maybe even 250, uh, just to make it fill the screen. So that's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm, I'm going to skip this one for the moment, just so I can show you guys what this one does. So this is the color of the text. You can go in and uh, press that. I don't know what, what the default color picker is for Windows, but on Mac you'll come up with this color picker, and you can just choose the color you want the text to be. You can even set the opacity, and just press OK. Now we can see that our text this is a different color. Now I'm just going to make this smaller and I'm going to show you what this does. So if we drag, we can see that it actually spaces apart the letters. I don't really know why I left this till later, but it's a very weird effect. Um, just, let's just set it back to zero. Um, but this way you can make uh, things wider or smaller. And sometimes if stuff looks wider, sometimes people think it look, looks a bit more cinematic. So. You know, that's totally up to you. It's great that HitFilm offers all these controls. Okay, so now we can actually set some more advanced parameters. So this is, for example, um, the type of text. So whether we want it italic, um, bold italic, for example, Roman. If you have a font like Arial, then you will get all sorts of different ones like bold, bold italic. If you use some other fonts, they may not even have any of these, so you may just want to have to stick with a regular. But, um, you know, that totally depends on your font. Now we're going to look at the line spacing. So if we drag this, then we can see that it starts to space the lines apart um, further away from what they were before. This is just, again, if you want to edit your text a bit. Now we have here the outline. So if we drag this, nothing happens. But that's because we haven't selected a color. So this is like, a, you know, a stroke on the edge of the text. Just select the color, and for example, Let's make this a carnation. No idea who chose the names for these colors, but let's make it carnation. So now we can just drag on, on this and we can see that we've got a nice outline. I'm just going to make 
the text a bit bigger, so for example 200, and now it's sort of, now we can make it slightly bigger. Okay, and we can also of course change the colour of this by uh, just dragging around from this eyedropper and changing the colour to something in the UI or something in the video, such as this lovely green. But of course we have to go into the text first and uh, select all the text, and I'm just going to make this a deep grey, like so. Okay, and of course, last but not least, we have our paragraph settings. So we can make left, right, or center. There's no justify because it is just a basic editor. So that, guys, is how we edit text. Now we're going to go through some strategies and how we can use text in the editor because we can't directly use text in the editor, can we? So going back to the editor, um, the first foremost way is if you have a piece of text and you want it to be in your video, then you can just make a composite shot out of that video and in your composite shot put your text in, just like we did before. And if we want to say start here, we can make it start here. If we want to say make it fade in, we can animate the opacity. If you don't know what I'm doing here, I, I'm just keyframing the opacity. I'll, I'll go into that into another video. Um, you can just make it fade like so and you know there are all sorts of cool things you can do in a composite shot and this is just you know one of the ways however if you want your text to extend over multiple video clips in the editor what you can do is you can go into your media and your media panel and press new and press make composite shot make sure that this is uh, the same as what all your other clips are same as your timeline um, make sure it matches the timeline and make sure this matches however long you want it to be in your project So I just let's just make it 30 seconds for example And now we've got this new composite shot called composite shot 2 and it's 30 seconds long Now we can just do the same sort of text thing that we did before um, We can go inside here and edit text you Now we can change the font and uh, You know do whatever we want and oh, that looks pretty gnarly so yeah, just make it down here, and back into our editor, uh, we've got this composite shot too, and we can just drag this on the top of our videos, and we can see that now um, it's actually on top of all of our videos, which is pretty cool. And not only that, we can change, for example, at, say we want it at 15 seconds. Uh, we want it to change what the text says, so let's just cut it using this tool here and we'll cut it into two different layers and at this point we can make it say move text or something like that and now in the editor at that point it'll change from edit text to move text and one thing we can do just to make sure we really fine tune that precision is if we go to a certain point in our editor we can copy this time code you don't know what the time code is. This is seconds. Oh, this is frames, seconds, minutes, hours, and we can just copy that time code in here, and then use our play tool to slice at that very point. And you know, you know how it goes anyway. So I hope this video helps you guys. I know text is a little bit hard to work with in Hitfilm. Yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, obviously, as I said comment what you think of this video in the comments, like, and subscribe if you want to see more hit film tutorials and a bunch of other related stuff. I'll see you guys later. Bye!